months. What does your work say for people just trying to cope with the crisis that we're experiencing? Yeah, let me first of all say that in 74 years of life, this is without question the most tumultuous period that I have lived through. Now, I was born just as World War II ended. And I think this is uh, at the exact same level as World War II, where everybody was vulnerable across the entire planet. And so this is an extraordinary time, but it's simply representative of all crises. Now, in crisis, we desperately need a leader to do something. And we haven't seen very much of this from any of our world leaders. <laughs> um, but the, the purpose of a leader is to connect people to their purpose. Um, it's to tie and bind people together in pursuit of a new and better future. Now just think of when the pandemic hit, we had a set of world leaders who had an opportunity. You could have had the president of the United States or the premier of China or someone from Italy, any country, that person could have stood up and said, this is not an Italian problem. This is not a Chinese problem. This is not an American problem. This is a human problem. And as the leader of this country, we're going to sacrifice, put resources aside so that scientists from every country can go into the following new network and share information every day and we can process this. We're going to create a task force that uh, is constantly surfacing this information which will be wrong on many days because this is a crisis. But we're going to be flexible and we're going to keep learning and we're going to tell you only the truth as we know it. We're not going to become political. We're not going to posture. We're not going to politicize every act. We're going to learn together with you constantly clarifying where it is we think we need to go. And we're going to listen to you as we share. That's what a leader in crisis does. 